Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. We will remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for His love and for the Lord's in our lives. In a special way, we pray for all souls and the intentions of Carmelita de Dosma, Sister Mary Brenda, Mary Kalani. Mary Beachview, Cameron, Theodore, Eden, and Jacob. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, look upon us. Creator and ruler of all things, and that you may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our hearts. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant, while he convened, conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the king community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, He removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, 
The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. And out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please receive. In the book of Exodus, Moses do not need to say that he is with the Lord. They say that his king was ready. The communication, the blessing, the holiness he received was so much infectious that the people of Israel could tell that he has communicated with the Lord. Today, the only thing we can communicate easily is COVID. <laughs> you don't need to tell somebody to cover their nose, or don't shake hands, don't be here, don't do this. And that's okay. But if you look at the readings, you will ask yourself, how infectious is it that I get this communication from the Lord and I can transfer it to my family, to my friend, to my wife, to my husband, and to my children? Your relationship with God must make manifest when you come in contact with anybody, your behavior will tell that this person is different. And we know from the scripture and history that Christians, they did not give themselves the name. It was when people observed them in Antioch and they said, you behave like Christ. You must be Christ-like. And they said they were called Christians because of their behavior. Because they have come in contact with Christ, the Son of God, in teachings, in pure relationship like Peter and the apostles. But the people discover that these people have seen something. So I said to, I said to myself, our knowledge of God, our relationship of God, our contact with God must be infectious also to the people around us. You don't need to say we just need the scripture, the sacraments, the teachings, and the words of Christ. And you will have enough dose of the pandemic you can transfer to the other people. Not COVID, but the love of Christ. They say the new commandment, mandatum, the change. You need to have it. So I say to you, if you don't have it, if people don't realize you are Christian, they don't know that you go to church every day, they don't know that you receive blessed sacrament, something is missing. You must be like Moses, that when they see you, they say, oh, you are radiant. God lives in you. Please stand. As we continue to pray for all souls, Camelita, the Gosman, Sister Mary, Brenda, Mary Kelani, Mary with you, Cameron, Theodore, Eden, and Jacko, we remember all those who requested for our prayer. May our love to God, our communication with God, our togetherness with God affect their lives so that once again they will be happy, they will rejoice, and they will find peace. And we who have gathered here this morning, may God continue to bless us, protect us, guide us, and be with us all the days of our lives. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please receive.
blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but let the next we have received the prayer without any fruit of the earth, and walk up through our tracks, and to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received your wine and God by your fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, and could become for us the spiritual brain. Blessed be God forever. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your faith with the sacrificial offerings, that through this act of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we talk, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For in you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jews, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was prayed and entered holy into his passion, he to pray, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out of your hands, for this is my body, which will be given out of you. In a similar way, one supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this cup of fear and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the one and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of you. Save us. Savior of the world, provide your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us forward to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we that are into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis and Cook, Pastor and Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy and lost all we pray. Now with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph has passed. Blessed apostles, and for all the saints who have preached throughout the day, we may marry to the glory and strength of our God. And may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in the name of God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, by divine teaching, we have to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all disgrace, as we await the blessed hope and the crown of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace and keep you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and liberty, that others with your will will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
great is the goodness of the Lord to keep those who fear Him for Him. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and set us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. Amen. Our might God continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Praise be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father.